Hey guys, uh, this is a, a National Forest Road that we've made our way down and we're, we camped last night on the side of it on a pull-off. Um, good place, except you, you do hear there's a, the highway right over there. <laughs> Just a country highway, whatever, but there's plenty of trucks, I think, that go up and down it. Um, but nice and quiet at night. It is a bit dusty because we're so close to the road. Uh, but that's okay. It'll do in a pinch. And uh, we're going on a hike. This is a uh, somewhere where you can't drive, but you can walk or hike if you'd like. And that's what we're going to do. This morning, we went maybe a quarter mile in at the most, just for our morning walk. And then uh, now, we're going to do a much longer hike back there and, and see what we can see. The van is definitely still having major issues, but it seems like if I let it, let it sit for a while and then go again, it, it, it's okay. Right down the hill is a little town. It's called like Cedar View or Cedar Crest or Cedar Ridge, something like that. <laughs> I can never remember these towns' names. Uh, they have a mechanic, so I'm going to try, we're going to try a little later to, uh, to head that direction. It's all downhill, so hopefully the van will do okay. Um, and if it, the van is doing okay, I'm going to push it even further. I'm going to go, there's a town called Delta, which is, um, I don't know, it might be 20 miles away. And that town has uh, auto parts stores, it has Walmart auto. Uh, it has mechanics, it has lots of stuff. So what we're doing now, right now we're up in elevation. We're still like, I don't know, 8,000, 8, 9,000 feet, somewhere around there. So the weather is good. It's warm, but um, at night it definitely cools off. And even during the day, it, it's tolerable here. It's nice, pretty nice. There's always a breeze, as you can see. <laughs> so my plan right now is to go for a hike with Olive and, uh, just to, it helps both of us with stress and everything. And uh, we're gonna ride out uh, the hottest part of the day, the afternoon here. And then uh, as soon as that sun starts getting lower in the sky, we're going to head down the road. Um, because down at the bottom of the hill where those towns are, are is much lower in elevation and it's, it's very warm right now. It's like in the 90s, so. That's another reason why we've been staying up here is it's supposed to get a little bit cooler down there. So we're just gonna kind of ride it out up here since it's like, it might get up to 80, 80 degrees here. It's, it's um, about a hundred degrees down there. So yeah, cause I just don't know if it has to go into a shop and then Olive and I, I don't even know what to do with our, us when it's a hundred degrees and in a town we don't know without a vehicle, in a town without Uber even, or you know anything. Um, so uh, what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna have to make our way down to uh, Grand Junction. Unfortunately, because it's really hot there, it's in the hundreds, I think. Um, but we may just have to do that because we're probably going to have to get to a dealer to fix this thing and then if we do that, then um, maybe we can just, I don't know, figure it out from there. <laughs> but, um, I am in a, a better mind space right now. Um, I was, it was pretty, it, was, it wasn't just this. It was, um, you know, it was a buildup of a few things, lots of things actually. It's just been a, a bad couple of few weeks or so. Um, just things happening and uh, I keep injuring myself and uh, just, yeah, it's it just feeling like everything in the world is is um, is breaking down and going wrong and uh, it just started to become too much for me and uh, so I was, <laughs> you know, not doing so great. But I'm doing better now. I've, you know, just giving me time to think things through and calm calm my mind down and stuff it helps a lot so but now we're going to hike and that will help too we walked down a, a little bit of it this morning i just want to see where it goes maybe it'll end at a uh, creek there's a lot of creeks in this area the only problem with them is that 
you can't really access them, that they are completely overgrown, you know, kind of like this, but more so. <laughs> and uh, so we'll see though. Um, and down there you can see, uh, not here, but beyond that, down in that valley, that's where all the towns are. Last night I could see, it was all lit up down there. So those towns aren't super tiny because there's a lot of lights, but but that's the road. You can see it down here I'm going to be taking down and and I'm just going to um, keep my fingers crossed that uh, we can make it and we can be safe. And uh, yeah, but that's where I'm headed. Colorado is just beautiful, but it's so beautiful. If you're a mountain lover, um, forest lover, it's just, it's just mountain after mountain after mountain. <laughs> And it's like everywhere you look, there's a taller mountain and a mountain covered in snow. And yeah, it's just very beautiful. It's all um, aspen here. And these uh, really short, scrubby kind of oak trees. And a lot of wild roses. I think most of these are wild roses here. But it's pretty dry right now. It's that season. And there are a lot of wildfires. Luckily, they're not super close to here. But they're not far. And, uh, yeah, they could definitely use some rain. But I know it's not just here. It's I've heard Arizona did not get a monsoon season this year, really. So everybody could use some rain, I think. Maybe not Chicago. <laughs> I did see that Chicago had some crazy storms, like tornado-y type storms. This is gonna show you these flowers. They're like all the flowers here, they're past their their prime. <laughs> but uh, yeah, pretty mountain flowers. But let's see where this uh, path leads. I do love these aspens though. That white bark, it's just so beautiful. found a little creek. It's a really small one, <laughs> but cute. I was exploring it. I threw her the tiniest little stick and she brought back that big log to me. <laughs> I thought maybe we had come to the end of the line here, but this is just a gate that you need to uh, shut. So the, uh, the road has really turned just into a path here, which is nice. Olive is enjoying her off-leash time. She doesn't get that much time to run. Not recently. And, uh, yeah, this is really enjoyable. It's just a, a forest path. It was a lot of downhill at first, so we'll have to go up that eventually. But uh, it's mostly flat now. And it looks like it opens up completely up here. Not just a, maybe not just a meadow, but maybe this is where the forest ends. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll check it out. But we'll probably turn around pretty soon. We probably walked about a mile or so. The path has become unmanaged, unmanicured. <laughs> There's just lots of down trees. And that's okay, jump over a few of them, but it's just becoming more and more so. And we're still, we're like on the edge of uh, where the forest stops. 
Yeah. Oh, Olive decided to go further. We're gonna turn around. Plus it's starting to get hot. There's less, um, less shade here, less trees. I also don't always feel totally comfortable leaving my van unattended in a, you know, right off of the, the highway, or I mean, right off of the forest road. I don't know, it just, it's just something I'm, I do it, but I, I don't like to be away from it for more than, you know, an hour or two, so. Yeah, we're gonna turn around. We still have a, you know, at least a mile to head back. So here we go. I sure wish there were more flowers here right now to show you guys. It would have been really beautiful. There's some giant cone flowers here, or echinacea. The plants are just enormous. When they were blooming, they were probably five feet tall. Uh, lots, yeah, lots of those, which would have been really beautiful. Uh, also, there are, um, there's still things like yarrow, but the yarrow here are just so small. And they're all just white, which is okay, but I like those bright pink yara. Maybe those don't grow in nature, I don't know. <laughs> um, and there's lots of daisies. I've just seen so many daisies lately. Although I appreciate them because they're the only thing really alive right now. And occasionally I'll come across some berries, which are beautiful. There are those berries that look so good. I want to eat them. It's a whole big tree full of them. <laughs> 